Rubber for two Hester more break. frames, Milkins looking to force what would be, of course, our first decider of this Tour Championship. Shaw turned a ball cushion. Chance for Robert Milkins. Oh, long way away. As he left it, as he left the red. Wow. I'm not quite sure what it is red. Into the left center. Will it cut? Well, I think it will. It's just past the center line from blue to the middle pocket. Just past that center line. I'm not quite sure what I get enough of this red to cut it. No, it couldn't. One. Oh, what a shot. Well, you have to dig into the cue ball to avoid the in off and the pot as well. What a shot this is. I'm calling it early, David. That was a hot shot. Well, put it this way, if he wins the match off that, then he thoroughly deserves it. Brilliant. Six. Well, he's been 92% as we see this wonderful pot. And just not only the pot, but to avoid the in-off. He's been 92% pot success with the rest. We couldn't have played a more important Seven. one in this match. That was a good shot. He's nicely on the black. What a wonderful chance. Yeah, and this is what really separates out the, the, the truly great players. When they see the winning line, suddenly they up their game. Everything just comes together. Still a lot of work to do, but it's a good chance, this. 14. Fifteen. There's one red, and there you see it. That's available. That's the red he's going to try and get on. That's potable into this right corner after the black. If he gets high enough on it, he can pot it and get back down for the black. He may even possibly 22. be able to get on the pink here. The pink available into the left center. Yeah, look at shot. He's on boat. That's really opened things up now. Well, lots happened in this match. There's been a lot of interesting moments, but one of the biggest was definitely the end of the afternoon session. Robert Milkins was well in front, 24 in front on the last red. Needed red and colour, and he missed the red. Made the difference in the end between a 6-2 lead and 5-3. And Murphy, having been 5-1 down, of course, was delighted with 5-3, even though he was still trailing. Yeah, I think that was the frame that gave Sean Murphy a little bit of glimmer of hope that he needed for a rally tonight. And he's certainly done that. Been put to the test. Milkins come back at him, but it's 
The last opening red in this break was just fantastic. He's got the balls exactly where he 31. wants them here. Just a matter of keeping that cue ball under control. He's got plenty of options. A couple of reds into the left center. These couple of reds into the bottom left corner pocket. Nicely played. 38. Thirty nine. Yeah, this is where you've got to keep clarity of mind. Keep 44. it simple, don't over complicate things. One ball at a time. That's exactly what he's doing. Just taking his time, having a look around. Back down for the black here. Forty-five. Now this is the shot where it possibly could go wrong. He hasn't got the best angle. Could have done been a little bit closer to the black. If he can pot this black and get on the red, this could be frame a match. Now, how's the cue ball? Is he on a red? Is he on this red into the corner? Maybe, 52. just maybe, just about. It could have gone wrong, it hasn't. Was a good part on the pink, but that little brush off the red still should be okay. I mean, he's still on this red, but I'm not quite sure whether he can avoid cannon into another red while potting it, which makes the pot a little bit more difficult. 59, but he's getting ever closer to the winning line. Still needs. Couple more reds and colours. Can he avoid the red while potting this? I couldn't 60. avoid the red, but he'd certainly settle for that. He's nicely on the blue. Cue ball in and out of balk. Well, this break, he's like the match. It's not been straightforward, but they're still going in. He's getting closer. Red and colour needed for victory. 65. Trusty rest is out. Potted 25 out of 27 using the rest. This is match ball at Phil David. This goes in. Should win the match and it has done. What a shot and what a break. He's left the best to last. There's no doubt about that. The opening red was sublime. But this has been a wonderful break. He's had to work hard for it. But this is how it started. Look at this from the overhead. 
the angle it's going in. Absolutely brilliant. And he's kept it going well. A couple of little hurdles 74. he's got over. And, OK, it's been a tough match, this, but the way he's won it, he will feel a million dollars. The chance came, and Sean Murphy has taken it out. Eighty. Milkins has battled hard. Of course, he was 5-1 up. And then he went 8-6 down. Got back level. So she can sit and watch this wonderful break from his opponent. Yeah, it's been really good. Another wonderful shot there. Just to bring the red into play. But yeah, he's worked the cue ball very nicely it's in this break. A couple of times where the break could have gone wrong, but part some good recoveries. Going to be in the semi final. Ninety three. Yeah, and a word for Robert Milkins. He's having a fantastic season, and of course, he's going to be in the top 16 to see the truth to the crucible. Maybe disappointed after having that wonderful lead in today's session. What wonderful century, wasn't it, David? Absolutely fantastic. But what a way to win it. You know, it's been quite a busy match. There's been a few errors and bad luck along the way. Been quite disjointed, but nothing disjointed about this finish. Second century of the day. And as I say, the way he's won it, I think will make him feel really good as he prepares for a meeting with either Mark Selby or Ryan Day. Can't quite... Beat Carl Wilson's 137, but even so, this is how you want to win a match. 110. Sean Murphy made 16 centuries the whole of last season. Already this season, he's made 42. So it just shows you the weight of scoring has been really improved on. One hundred and seventeen. Milkins just didn't have a look in, trying to force the decider. One hundred and twenty-two. Sean Murphy potted. Great red, and he's kept it going superbly, and he's just enjoying now these final moments. Milkins looking for the swift exit. The bow ties off already. One hundred and twenty-eight. Delivers a wonder break here. For victory, can he knock the black in for a total clearance? Not quite, but 128. That is a fantastic finish. What a great break that was to win. What at times was a tough match. He trailed five-one, but Sean Murphy's feeling great about his snooker right now. He's into the semi-finals, a winner by ten frames to eight. All the reaction is coming up next.